Calcineurin inhibitors include cyclosporine and chacrolimus. These medications are extremely potent and very, very powerful. So they are preserved as a second line or for severe conditions. And because they are very potent, their side effects are also very potent. Just remember that medications are toxins, but with the right amount. Both cyclosporine and tacrolimus are considered calcineurin inhibitors, but they have different mechanisms of action. Cyclosporine binds to cyclophilin, which prevents the progression of the cell life of the T lymphocytes. So it prevents the maturation of T cell lymphocytes. Tacrolimus achieves the same outcome, but using a different method. It binds to the FK binding protein and inhibits it. And this prevents the activation and proliferation of T cell lymphocytes. They are almost always exclusively used for psoriasis. However, the only FDA approved usage of calcineurin inhibitors is the treatment of severe atopic dermatitis. But it can be used for other dermatological diseases. Compared to corticosteroids, which are the gold standard, calcineurin inhibitors have little, if any, systemic symptoms because the absorption through the skin is very weak, unlike steroids, of course. So sometimes, if a patient is taking topical steroids and they have satisfactory outcomes, but they're also experiencing side effects, we can switch, if temporarily, to calcineurin inhibitors. The side effects are almost exclusive to oral or systemic intake but they can happen in topical application. The most infamous and important side effect is that they cause dose-related nephrotoxicity. They basically cause vasoconstriction of the renal arterioles. So this vasoconstriction can be very severe that it causes acute renal ischemia and acute renal failure. They also have some neurotoxicity, but not as much as nephrotoxicity. Another important note is that cyclosporine causes gingival hyperplasia and heristism. And this is a very common target for exams. So to summarize, calcineurin inhibitors include cyclosporine and tacrolimus. They both prevent the activation and proliferation of T cell lymphocytes. Cyclosporine does that by blocking the cyclophilin in T cells, and tacrolimus achieves this goal by blocking the FK binding protein. They can be used for severe psoriasis or atopic dermatitis, and they're often preserved as a second line. The important side effects are nephrotoxicity. Use the link below to get access to the full dermatology course. This includes more than 60 lectures with study notes and revision cards. You will also get access to the flashcards and MCQs. Thank you for watching.